So we're gonna make some Poe video. And what this is, is it's called text to video AI in Poe, which is a, a collection of AIs that you can use all within one giant app called Poe. In that app Poe, there is an app called Hail UO AI. We're gonna click it and we're gonna see what it can do. Best in class, this is reading off the back of its own box, best in class text and image to video model by Minimax. Okay, now it's telling me for best results, upload an image attachment. I know it can do something without an image, so we're gonna start with that. A person at the beach with the sunset behind them and a Southern California vibe high angle drone shot period notice that there is now a zero out of 300 s seconds elapsed that's about par for the course currently with these image and text to video ai models it's about that long of a wait for the better ones It looks like we have something. I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit so we see the full thing. I'll make it full screen. Let's watch it. Do you, viewer, feel that this matched our prompt? Our prompt was a person at the beach with the sunset behind them and a Southern California vibe, high angle drone shot. Personally, I feel it did. What I, will like, what I would like to do now is take this same prompt we just used in Halio UI or AI. I'm going to copy it, copy, and I'm going to go to Explore in Poe and find one called Pika. Pika is a text and image to video generator, just like the one we used before but it costs fewer compute points by 75%. So it's 75% cheaper than the last thing we used within your Poe account. And its results are generally a little less detailed. So when we give it the same exact prompt, a person at the beach with the sunset behind them in a Southern California vibe, high angle drone shot, it will result in a different image at some level. My guess is it'll be kind of a more, it'll be less wide of an image, like a more square image. It'll probably be, be about two or three seconds and it might not be as detailed, but otherwise it might be pretty similar. It's faster. Pika is faster. Today, the Pika within Poe is faster than the Halio, Hail UO AI. Hail UO AI. Let's watch this one now. This is Pika's text for a person at the beach with the sunset behind them and a Southern California vibe, high angle drone shot. Okay, I forgot to mention, more hallucinogenic weirdness exists within Pika. And this is an example of that. What is happening, I'm betting, is it hallucinated that that shape in the, the water here at the beginning of the image was a person and it extrapolated how to turn them into a walking lumbering person just like the other shapes. That's me off the cuff suggesting why we're seeing this weird thing in this image I just asked for. Let's stop watching it. We've now seen two text to video image generators. Now we're gonna see if we can send concurrent messages to the image ge the video generator. So can I say, I want, here, I'm gonna say I want and um, palm tree swaying in breeze with Hollywood sign in the background, Griffith Observatory and the Goodyear blimp, which is descending at Griffith Park to let off tourists, passenger tourists. Now, I've kind of directed a scene with that prompt. There should be a palm tree swaying in the breeze. Behind it, we should see the Hollywood sign. 
which if you're near the Hollywood sign, you might be able to also see the Griffith Observatory. And if you're in Los Angeles, you have the ability to see the Goodyear blimp, depending on the day of the year. And it might be descending over Griffith Park if something went horribly wrong. But in general, I just want to see this fantastical scene. Now, I'm going to test, this might break our prompt, if I can load up another instance of the Hail UOAI. So I'm going to go load up the last thing I talked to in a different prompt instance. And I'm going to start asking it for an image or a video. I'm going to say a text to video AI. Someone typing on a keyboard viewed scientifically as through an electron scanning electron. Okay, it's generating. Oh, look, we can do concurrent threads. I'm so glad we learned this together. Now we're gonna go make an image. Let's use the first image generator that comes up. Flux. Let's say we're gonna make an image of a happy, or a, well, just a regular turtle, who is enjoying a log out on a pond, some bubbles nearby. Let's see what Flux does with that. Oh, I love him. Look at the bubbles. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this image. There we go. And I'm gonna load up another Hail UOUI, or AI. I'm gonna paste it, and I'm gonna give it no direction. Just here's a picture of a turtle because this Hail UO AI isn't just a text to video image generator, it is an image to video AI generator. So ideally, when I gave it that image, it understands how to make it interesting if it's moving, much like the seagull that might show up in the frame in a moment. And then as you can see on the left here, we got all these different uh, videos going. It's important to note each of these videos costs I don't know, 1% of your monthly compute points. So with a PO account, you can probably make 100 videos. No, you can probably make 70 videos because it's actually 1,220, 1,250 for now, the compute points. But all this information might not be relevant soon because PO is changing the way they're doing compute points. So don't worry about anything I just said. We're probably gonna skip between all these videos anyway. It looks like our turtle is done. Let's look at him first. Our other videos are also done. Hi, turtle friend. Okay, so now let's watch what he looks like in motion. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Hi, what's up? I love it. And I like how some of the bubbles became like pops. Like they all kind of got, they didn't get given buoyancy like an air bubble, they all got given kind of volume and then gravity. Interesting, fun. Well, I like our turtle friend. I'm glad he has that log. That was worth 1,250 compute points. 12,500 compute points still. Um, waiting for human input, okay. Um, I don't have any human input, I'm good. Let's check out our other videos. This was someone typing on a keyboard viewed scientifically as through a scanning electron microscope. I do not think they understood what scanning electron microscope should have meant. Not necessarily what I was envisioning. But that looks like someone typing on a keyboard, except that their keys are kind of merging with their fingers. So I'm going to call that one a fine example, but not a good one. Oh, I love this one already. Oh, let's watch it in motion, though. That's the real thing. Look at, they put the city on Hollywood. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm gonna give this one credit for trying. It really got the pieces I asked for. Like that is, that is all the things in the places. There's just nothing actually happening. So, and it's not, a, not really realistic to have that much stuff on top of it. Like this is even reversed. Anyway, I'm gonna now re-scroll through this thread and we're gonna look at a few other videos I've made. We'll look at the video clip. 
Here's the clip. And that was made with just a single image that looked like this, which was made in mid-journey, but it could have been made in any image generator on Poe. And I added the phrase, speeding through a cityscape for that tech, for that video. And then here's an example of sometimes it says it's getting an error and you get nothing and then it shows up later. So sometimes there's just weird stuff happening in Poe. Let's look at this one and then I'll tell you the prompt in a moment. You know, the thing is, it's, it's, it's not really kind to show someone this because it makes no actual sense. Their brain can't really put anything together where it should go. So what I'd asked this AI for was a Bolex H16 camera bouncing off the ground and exploding into various pieces, including its unexposed 16 millimeter film stock and the spring wound clockwork motor and three turret mount lenses. Do you see how, let's watch it again. Those pieces are accounted for. One, two, three lenses. There's unexposed film concept. Um, there's the word H and Bolex. There's all these things that tried to make me happy, but because I didn't provide it a strong enough source image of what a Bolex, a Bolex H16 camera looks like, it didn't know how to put the pieces together. So pat on the back for trying. What is this? Okay. We're gonna look at a fractal sequence sprouting within the membrane if a mushroom. I misspelled that, but I pronounced the way I spelled it wrong. That could be mistaken for some real footage of um, some undersea life, easily. I, I, I literally have no prior image comparison to compare this to real versions of this that I've seen. So I cannot say this is real or fake until I'm told. That's a slippery slope with video to AI, or uh, image text to AI. So here's one that's kind of weird. Right? So the, the actual prompt I gave it was, entering the matrix via a rotary telephone's headset microphone holes. And that's what it gave us. I see almost an upside down robot face on that. Like there's the nose at the top and there's two eyes. Fascinating. And this is another image to video from Haleuo AI. It started with a single image of this whale. Here's the video it made. What I find interesting about that video is that it makes sense if you play it in reverse but it doesn't make sense gravity-wise if you play it backwards. There should be more of a splash if a big animal went back into the water like that. So it's an example of how maybe the video to the image to video isn't quite understanding what it's actually outputting. Otherwise it would have put a bigger splash maybe. Here's an example that I feel turned out really well just based on a single image made with mid-journey and I just gave it to it and said, go. It's a little implausible because there isn't a mountain range quite that big behind downtown San Diego from this angle of the water. But this could pass at first glance for being somewhere in Point Loma, San Diego. So that's pretty cool. It just keeps going. It's almost like a loop, but it's not quite. And that was again, just a single image I fed Hail UO AI. And here's, here's another one. This is again, an AI image made in mid journey. But what I did for this one was I asked for this image old death island okay maybe mid journey ripped off some actual postcard that looked like this and i added the phrase pull back to reveal point loma lighthouse with hiker tourists in the background here's what it gave and i think you'll find it interesting totally it did it, it gave us everything i'll tell you what i was hoping for I was hoping it would take this image and add some hikers in here and it would do a pullback to reveal more of the area. But it seems like the bias it has is that it first takes the slavishly source image you start with and says, okay, I must start with that. How do I work everything else in? I don't know, I got a pan. So I think that's what it did. And it did a good job considering how difficult that task was. 
Here's another one that was simply made with the image here. But I'd asked for time lapse of 1,000 years of a growth, a city's growth and decay static camera. It is definitely not static, the camera, unless the lamb is literally eroding. But it does a pretty good job of communicating an image of San Diego and nice environment. I like it. And that's really all there was. I think I did maybe, oh, here, this one. Here's where people don't quite work yet. Some of this works, maybe one second at a time, but sections of it really don't work. Like they're just merging skin and hands and like blending bones and it's just definitely not good. Neither of them is connecting eye-wise. So anyway, those are more examples of this image and text to video AI service that you can use within Poe if you have an account. So I hope you had a good time. I learned a lot and uh, that's all there is.